What's happening boys and girls and welcome back to the channel. Today is Monday and you guys know what that means. It's Money Making Monday. I've got three awesome methods for you guys to try out. If you've missed any of the money makers, I'll leave them in the top right corner. You can click on that. That's a playlist with every single money maker that's been on the channel. There's like 30 plus in there. So you're going to find something that's going to make you some money. Also, guys, if you're not subscribed, think about doing it because it means you're going to get to these money makers first, which are every single Monday. So first of all, we're going to go over to Karamja. So get your teleport to Karamja. I'm going to use my house and my glory, but you can use any other way you want. Then you're going to want a little bit of cash. I'm just going to take like 500k with me, but you can take whatever you want. Just try and make it at least 100k. Um, and then what else you're going to want is some hammers. You just need one. Thank you for all the donations of the hammers, by the way, guys. If you didn't know, I collect hammers. We're now at 3.2 million GP worth of hammers. That's pretty cool. Anyway, so we're going to smash that and go over to Karamja. So once you tele to Karamja, you'll either end up where I am right now. That's the tele spot. Or if you come from Port Sarim and use the boats, you'll end up there. But where you need to go is across here, down over through Brimhaven and then down to this general store. Okay, so once you're here, you're going to want to trade with Jimanu, I think she's called. Um, and as you can see, she's got a load of like weird and sort of tribal items in here. Now the ones you want to look at are the charcoal. So currently that's going for 735 GP in the GE and we can buy charcoal for 67 coins each and she has a 50 in stock. Obviously it's probably better to hop world to world, buy 10 and then hop world to world. There's also the papyrus here which is worth 15 coins in the shop and if we examine and check how much that is in the GE at the moment, 799. Now these items, it's pretty much these two are the best two to go for. They drop and rise and constantly change all the time. I've seen charcoal all the way down at around 200 coins, um, but I've seen it go up to about 1k. Same with papyrus, like it definitely just differs on what day you do it. So maybe one day you'll make awesome money, the next it won't be as good. But as you can see guys, both of them are still very cheap and you're always going to make profit on those. Just hop world to world and buy those. But that's sort of like our bonus method there. That's the first like nice easy one. What we're actually going to be doing here is buying bronze bars. As you can see, you can buy a bronze bar for 12 coins. So if we buy all of those, so that's cost us 120 coins. Then we're just going to run down over to the anvil, which is on here. You can see just a short walk between the two. Then you're going to use your bronze bar on the anvil and you're going to make iron knives as much as you can. And each of these iron knives are worth around 30 to 40 coins each and you make five of them from each bar. So you've bought a bar for 12 coins and from one bar you're going to make over 150 coins GP which is awesome, awesome money and you don't even need a smithing level for it. It's literally so good, no requirements whatsoever, awesome little method. So if we now world hop and go to another world, let's just go to 59 here. And this is what you want to keep doing. You just want to keep world hopping and go and trade with Jay again. And buy all of her bars again. And let's just do a little price check between the two. So we bought all of those for 120 coins, all 10 for 12 coins each. And if we go and price check how much the bronze knives are worth, 1.7k is what OS Buddy is saying. So you've literally made well over 1.5k profit there just doing that short trip now what i would say is you should buy the bronze bars to maximize your money hop worlds and get a full inventory of bronze bars don't buy 10 at a time buy 10 buy another 10 fill your inventory up and then once you have a full inventory hop on over to the anvil do a full inventory drop back and hop to another world and as you see you'll make way more money than doing 10 at a time so that there was 30 bronze bars, and as you can see, we've got 150 knives. Cost us just under 500 GP to buy all the bronze bars, and in like two and a half minutes, I've made 5.1k. This way is such a good way of making money, guys. So simple, so AFK as well, because you get so much time on the anvil while the knives are being made. Great method, and really good for those low levels. Method number three is making ultra compost, guys. And what you want to do is get yourself over to the Grand Exchange. You can start with any money you want. And what you want to do is get yourself some volcanic ash. Now, you need two volcanic ash per one of these you're going to make. So let's go and buy 100 of those. And let's just go and buy those straight out. There we go, 100 of those. And then we're going to go and get ourselves some super compost as well. Boom. So we're going to buy 50 because we need two volcanic ash for every super compost we use. So we're going to go and buy that. And then you want to go and bank. 
put all your coins in, put all your super compost in, and luckily the volcanic ash is stackable, so you can just keep that, and then search for the super compost, there we go, all of that there, and then literally you're going to make 150 GP around that sort of price per bucket you do, you just click on it, press all, and sit back and relax, super, super AFK, literally you get like 30 40 seconds of time just to sit and do whatever you're doing and you're making around 100 to 150 gp per bucket you do really good money super afk and definitely worth doing if you're just going to be afking for a couple of hours so guys i hope these quick money making tips every single monday are helping you out if they are i would appreciate a comment down below and a like just letting me know that you're enjoying this thank you very much for watching guys and i will catch you in the next one as I was editing this video, we hit 3k subs, so you guys know what that means. It's a drunk stream with Rog, Eviescape, and Mudkip. That's going to be over on Twitch, guys. So if you don't follow me already on Twitch, go and smash that as well. That will be in the links in the description.